Would you buy a four-cylinder turbocharged Toyota Tacoma? It might be coming. everybody and welcome back to the channel so would you buy a turbocharged four-cylinder Toyota Tacoma you know the rumor mill is starting to spin ever so slowly kind of like the way Toyota approaches changing and adding to the trucks but anyway there are some rumors starting to form out there because you know as soon as this Toyota Tundra redesign is done we're gonna start looking at the Toyota Tacoma for a redesign. It's getting a little long in the tooth too. You know, the third generation Tacoma has been around for quite a while. So they're gonna start focusing on that soon. And I've been hearing some grumbling, some little rumors out there um, about the, the reality of a turbocharged four-cylinder Toyota Tacoma. You know, kind of more aligning it with the Ford Ranger. Ugh. But anyway, you know, I, I got to thinking about that myself. And I'm really not speaking to the, the four-cylinder diehards out there. I know there are some four-cylinder folks out there. They love their trucks, and that's okay. Nothing wrong with that at all. But I'm a six-cylinder kind of guy. I'm really an eight-cylinder kind of guy, but you can't get an eight-cylinder Toyota Tacoma, unfortunately. So I've been thinking, you know, would I be interested in something like that? You know, I've driven the four-cylinder uh, Ford Ranger, and, and it was turbocharged. And I was really basically underwhelmed. I mean, they say that the Ford Ranger is quicker and faster than the Toyota Tacoma, the current gen. But I didn't see it. I would say it was probably equivalent. There was nothing that blew my socks off, nothing that, you know, I, I thought, man, I got to go trade off my Tacoma and, pick up one of these new Ford Rangers because they're just awesome. That didn't happen. I, I've mentioned before, the only thing that I really liked about the, the new Ford Ranger is the sound the door made when it closed. That was kind of cool, kind of a thud. But you know, do we really buy trucks to listen to the way the doors close? Yeah, I don't think so. So a four cylinder turbocharged Toyota Tacoma, why would they do this? Well, fuel economy. It's always about fuel economy, right? Um, they've got to meet government standards. You got to get better fuel economy. You got to stay with uh, everybody else. You know, Toyota seems to kind of stay in the background a little bit and then watch what everybody else is doing and then kind of go ahead and add things later. You know, like the technology they just recently updated. We just got a power seat in the Toyota Tacoma for 2020. How long have power seats been around? I don't know. They just updated the radio system, you know, to Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and all that. You know, how long have other folks been doing that? So Toyota just kind of hangs around in the background and watches. And it seems that these days, unfortunately, the trend is to go with smaller turbocharged engines, turbocharged motors. You know, they're even putting them in the full-size trucks now, right? There's rumor out there, another rumor, that the new Tundra is going to be a six-cylinder turbocharged. Now, there's nothing wrong with the six-cylinder that they're putting in the, the Tundra right now, but a six-cylinder turbocharged is the best they can do? I'd rather see maybe a V8 turbocharged if we have to go turbo. I mean, why not? The problem with turbo, and I, I got to admit, they have gotten a lot better at this. You know, I have had older turbocharged vehicles, and there was this little range, you know. When you hit the, the band, the power band, when, you, when the turbo kicked in, it gave you about, I don't know, three, four seconds of boost, if you will. You know, where it would really take off, hit, and it would go. And it was awesome, right up until it ended. And then it's like the bottom fell out, right? 
where to go they have gotten a little better these days with turbos i had a couple of audi a4s um, they were both turbocharged and they were four cylinders and i gotta say i think i'd be happy if you took the audi motor out and stuck it in the toyota tacoma as a turbo four that wouldn't be too bad because that thing was quick smooth Never felt like you ran out of power. I don't know how they're doing it compared to everybody else, but um, it was awesome. But you know, Toyota's not gonna do that, right? We're, we're not gonna put an Audi motor, I don't think, in a Toyota Tacoma, but it sure would be cool if they did. So what I envision, I envision, if the rumors are true, I envision a, a turbo for Toyota Tacoma, very similar in performance to the turbo for Ford Ranger. It's going to be lackadaisical. It's going to be kind of boring. It's going to be drab. It's going to get, you know, probably, who knows, 25, 26 mile per gallon, maybe 28, maybe pushing 30 on the freeway. I mean, you're talking about a four cylinder, right? Why not? So maybe pushing four cylinder or four cylinder, maybe pushing uh, 30 mile per gallon on the freeway. You, you know, who knows? But what we're gonna be left with is just a humdrum, kind of boring, low power Toyota Tacoma. And unfortunately, you know, the Tacoma now, it's not like it's a power wagon anyway, right? Like the Ram power wagon. It's not like it's a power wagon. It's not like it's loaded. It's, it's not like it's super responsive, you know, jumps off the line. But I'd hate to see it go backwards, you know? I never like to see a vehicle brand go backwards. And I think, if Toyota isn't careful, <laughs> they're going to take a step backwards. They're not going to be better than where we're at now. And that's not going to bode well for the name. You know, there's a lot of competition out there right now in the mid-sized truck market. And I think if Toyota could, and this is their opportunity, right? I mean, they're going to be doing a redesign anyway. If they could kind of walk that line, give us a little more oomph. What the heck? Give us a lot more oomph and a little bit better fuel economy. And I know I'm asking for the best of both worlds, right? Well, why not? You know, with all the tech and everything we have today, why can't we get a truck that's getting, I don't know, 25 to 30 mile per gallon average regularly and still be able to have the guts that we want to go with it? You know, I'm not even opposed to throwing some sort of an electric assist in there, you know? Something to maybe give it a little more oomph in the low end and still be able to meet those fuel requirements. And there is rumor of that as well. Not as many rumors as there are about a Turbo 4, but there are a lot of rumors out there about uh, Toyota going to some kind of a hybrid electric assist, uh, something like that, in the upcoming Toyota Tacoma. Heck, they're even talking about it with the redesigned Toyota Tundra. So, And I suppose the Toyota Tundra, depending on what they do with that, will give us a little bit of uh, insight as to what they'll be looking to do with the Tacoma because I gotta think uh, they're gonna kind of follow the same path between the two vehicles as far as uh, their approach to the power plant. We shall see. Anyway, leave a comment, let me know. Would you be interested in a turbo four Toyota Tacoma? And again, I'm not talking about you four cylinder guys. I know you like the four cylinders. I'm talking about you six-cylinder guys. Heck, even you eight-cylinder eight guys. Would you be interested in a Turbo 4 Toyota Tacoma? Would you buy it? I'd be curious to know. And what does it need? Also, real quick, if you haven't, check out my other channel. It is Rob Motive JT, all about my non-turbo 2020 Jeep Gladiator. Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there.